developed to its neck in concussions. In the 2015 regular season, uh, the NFL players have reported and endured 182 concussions last year. That is a 58% rise above the 2014 season, and it's the highest in four years of them actually keeping record. The NFL must continue to raise awareness and force rules and fine or suspend players if, the, if it's necessary. And uh, the commissioner, Roger Goodell, is appearing to take a step in the right direction. And physicians are deeply polarized on the effect of concussions immediately and in the long term after playing football. Um, I'll be discussing about what the NFL is doing to help the issue, the safety of the players during and after football, and then the rule changes that they are making to make the game safer. The first topic I'll be discussing about is how the NFL, or what the NFL is doing to help the concussion issue. And in recent news, the commissioner, Roger Goodell, announced an initiative uh, to increase safety and help preventing head or brain related injuries. Uh, he proclaimed that all 32 club owners will uh, provide $100 million for medical research. And uh, the Play Smart, Play Safe initiative also requires hiring a physician for each team. There has to be at least one physician on the field for each team, like on the sideline. And uh, since 2002, the NFL has made uh, 42 rule changes and staffing 30 medical professionals at each game. Others believe that the safety is in jeopardy while the NFL, while playing in the NFL and after retirement. Suicides and lawsuits, the NFL commitment to player safety has been in the spotlight since uh, Dr. Ben Umalu, his 2002 identification of uh, CTE and uh, former Pittsburgh Steelers center, uh, Mike Webster. Uh, he actually committed suicide at the age of uh, 50. And uh, CTE is a progressive degenerative disease that is set off by repeated head trauma. They actually made a movie about it this last year with uh, Will Smith playing the part of uh, Dr. Malu in his uh, fight against the NFL to try to raise the awareness of uh, like how serious like concussions really are and what they, how dangerous football actually can be and it sometimes can just get overlooked. And then another player, he played for the uh, Chicago Bears, uh, Dave Dearson. He was also 50, and he committed suicide. He shot himself actually in the chest instead of his head so that he could uh, let them uh, look at his brain and see if he uh, had CTE or any like kind of head trauma. And uh, also, uh, researchers at uh, Boston University confirmed uh, CTE in brains of uh, 87 out of uh, 91 uh, players that have died after playing football. And uh, this is a quote from the doctor from Boston University. He said, uh, while we know on an average that certain positions experience more repetitive head impacts and are more likely at a greater risk for CTE, no position is immune. And then uh, Chris Nowinski, he is the uh, CEO of the Concussion Legacy Foundation. He said that he's skeptical. He said of the new initiative, he also states that the NFL has a terrible track record in concussion research, and in 2016 may be the worst year for handling the research. He also says that the NFL cannot accept the results of the gold standard independent grant review process from the national state of health, so they withdrew all their money and then they created their own independent process. And now you've seen the real concern with concussions and the safety issues, and now uh, talk about the uh, rule changes. and. Uh, like I said before, there has been 42 rule changes, which is quite a bit since 2002, which is about 14, 15 years. And they've always been trying to find like a, like the better like football helmet to try to prevent concussions, but it's not. They're going to happen no matter what type of helmet you make or try to pad like put more pad in it. It's always going to be likely to get concussions. And there's actually they just changed two new rules to. Uh, keep like defenseless players from getting hurt and trying to like they're gonna throw more flags and uh, find people if necessary. And uh, in conclusion, I've talked about inherent my inherent issues being uh, that how Roger Goodell and the NFL are uh, taking the step in the direction with the initiative and donating all the money for medical research and that the safety of the players while playing and after retirement and how that really affects their lives after the game. And then I talked about the uh, rule changes and how they're trying
trying to make it more safe. And but people are always going to want to watch football. People love to watch and cheer and support their favorite team. But people sometimes overlook the uh, the negatives and the downsides to like how serious it really can be. And no matter where you stand, you got to pay attention to. Have you found any connection to uh, maybe the longevity of a player? So these people who are retiring early, do you have any connection to, do they start in Pee Wee football or did they not start until they were high school? Uh, so do you see any connection between like the longevity of how long they've been playing they, a sport? A lot of players, I, I would assume, have played from a young age and then they just, they see like the issues within the last few years and they, I mean, they played like last season and the season before that and they, I think most of them have got like hurt and like one of them had a concussion. He played for the 49ers and he got a concussion. He was just like, I don't want any more of this, and he just decided that that wasn't enough. Was enough. He just didn't want any more of it. Okay, jump. Yeah. 